Joe Lieberman with us right now. Senator, um, sadly, it's played out as you feared it might. Now reports of a real terror attack possibility in the next few days. Um, where do you see this going? Uh, nowhere good. And uh, last year, uh, General Jack Keane, the former uh, vice chief of the Army, and I have worked together for a long time. We were talking about it. General Keene uh, was respected by the Trump administration, so um, among many others. So we, we did a letter, an open letter, to the uh, president, uh, President Trump, and we said, please, Mr. President, don't go ahead with your plan to withdraw from Afghanistan, uh, because it would amount to surrender to the Taliban, an enemy of ours that we've defeated, and it would be a great strategic error because we're not at war. This is what President Trump said and President Biden says it all the time now. This is an endless war, but we were not at war anymore. Uh, we, we were down to 2,500 American troops from over 150,000 when we were at war, and their mission was counterterrorism, to keep the terrorists out of Afghanistan from which we were struck on 9-11. And, of course, what's happened tragically now is you pull back, as, as President Biden ordered, and what happens naturally? The counter-terrorist forces are gone. The terrorists come back. I mean, look, the Taliban is a terrorist operation that hates us and wants to kill Americans and has done so uh, for 20 years. I mean, to think about Haqqani, who's on our terrorist list, as the head of security in Kabul, right. it's just outrageous, really. So would you 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 ignore this? You know, we have nothing to worry about because the terrorists, the bad guys, are fighting among themselves. ISIS K, this splinter group that uh, part of the Pakistani Taliban that, that's now been doing its own thing for five or six years, they're fighting and uh, they're fighting it out. We don't have to worry about that. This is the country that will develop with these guys destroying it. No worry here. You say. But it's nonsense. I mean, it's like saying that uh, there are two drug gangs at war in some American city fighting for turf, and somehow one of them is good and one of them is bad. They're both terrible. They're both poisoning uh, Americans, killing each other, killing bystanders. And that's the case here. Um, the Taliban and ISIS are both radical Islamic terrorist groups. And uh, if they have disagreements, it's only over turf. Who's going to be in control? The, the, make no mistake about it. These, these groups and a lot of the others, al-Qaeda and others, who are going to pour into Taliban-controlled Afghanistan now. They're our enemies. They want to kill us. They want to bring down our civilization. And uh, you know, this is what the removal of the American troops uh, has invited to happen. And it's happening. I just want to say one thing, Neil, that in June, apparently, uh, when President uh, Biden met with President Putin of Russia, he, he uh, in foreseeing the cost of withdrawing our troops from Afghanistan and not having a counterterrorist base there, he told President Putin that he was planning to relocate that function, very important, to another Central Asian country near Afghanistan. And Putin said no. And I think that was the end of it for President Biden. But it shows that President Biden himself, as he got close to the actual withdrawal, knew that he was sacrificing something. And, boy, how, how difficult it's going to be now for the United States uh, from far away, not on the ground, not with a friendly government, to, to counter these terrorists from uh, killing a lot of people in their country and outside, including uh, in the USA. I hope you're wrong on that, but you've been eerily prescient on these other things. And it's so odd when you mention the Putin story, Senator, because he was nixing a, a plan in countries over which he had no control, uh, which is the double irony You're absolutely of that. right. I mean, look, we've been allowing the bad guys to tell us what to do. We're the strongest country in the world. We stand. We have values. But, uh, you know, President Biden clearly and should have kept our troops on the ground after August 31st for the evacuation, because we're not going to get everybody out by then. And the Taliban, our enemies, terrorists, say no. And we withdraw and say, OK, we'll do our best uh, to get everybody, uh, as many people out as we can by August 31st. Yeah. A great country doesn't do that. 
And I agree with the people who have been on uh, uh, today before me who said we should move the perimeter out. We're the, we're the U.S. military. And uh, at least one thing we could do over the next four days to protect Americans and Afghans is let the American military be on the perimeter further out, not uh, the Taliban terrorists. Who are not our friends. Right. And that's the next step. They're never gonna, that could be tested as soon as tomorrow, Senator. We'll see if we have any success in trying to expand that perimeter. But thank you, Senator. Always good seeing you. Neil, thank you. I hope I'm wrong, but I, I'm afraid. Yeah, I uh, do. I think, no. uh, this time, Senator, I hope you're wrong as well. But it's with great respect. Okay. Thank you very much. Take care. Be well. God bless. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.